today we are still working on some roofing, repairing some things, but to be able to get there and also to get over here by this dormer, we got Bertha, we have Bertha over here and we're trimming up the magnolia trees. These, this one and that one right there are going so how about the plates are are going yeah they're going they're going to be gone eventually but we're trying to clear off some of these branches so the the brick and stuff can uh, dry we're going to keep the one that doesn't split of these two of the younger ones this one's going to be going but let me zoom up there and you can see one completely slipped there there's one that slipped there's a whole bunch right there that have fallen up there the I don't know if I can get there this valley is missing this valley right here is missing a whole bunch of slate around there and that valley is rotten so these these trees just have to go for us to be able to save the house they're just too close and they just don't ever allow the house to dry so that will that will help um, but we are trying to keep preserve one of them with and us removing this magnolia tree with Bertha we'll be able to get at an angle we should be able to get some of that without removing this tree we can remove some of the limbs but that we should be able to get up there with the man basket this will make it much easier for Frank to get up here and work on this roof and it will make it much easier for him to work on the kitchen roof this little uh, butler pantry roof there so it needs a lot of work but we need those trees gone so like I said before they can dry out Having Bertha in this configuration makes it much easier. Bertha can't, doesn't have to get so close and it makes it easier again to get up there and work on the roof line up there. Well, I readjusted Bertha. Frank is up there in the man basket. Bertha is nice and level. So, he's going to try to fix some of those slate that are falling. It is a mess up there. However, he did get He did get the, the support underneath there, so that's a good thing. And now he's putting on his safety harness because this situation definitely calls for it. And he's going to do his best to fix a lot of those slate. Well, we had a little rainstorm come through. Someone is still up there working. Today we're working on the most beautiful side of the house there is. What a beauty. The kitchen porch and the kitchen roof. Isn't, uh, the box cutter is in pretty good shape. If you uh, want to just go through it. So this is the project I'm working on. It's in really bad shape, the whole thing is. But we're gonna make it work for now. So it doesn't, uh, have too bad of stuff. Anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, we got some of it done. 
It is not uh, exactly perfect. It'll still leak a little there. Actually, I might go back up and put something there. But all these are, now there's no more hole in the roof. Now I gotta go figure out a couple more really bad ones. I think I have to fix that one. It slid down and a hole over there and some over there. Another section fixed. Now we got uh, quite a few more slates in. And no holes. But there's some ones that are in pretty rough shape up here. But I wasn't about to touch any more. Because the, all this slate needs to come off of this side. It's been hidden by this magnolia tree. So it hasn't been allowed to dry out. It's just rotted this, lit, this place out. And they use steel nails on a whole bunch of this. So the steel nails rust. So there's maybe one holding it up. But those ones are still lasting pretty good. Those are the ones I uh, fixed with screws. Don't tell anybody. I'm gonna see if I can get over there in the valley and uh, there's some pretty good sized holes over there. And that's close enough for me. Well, hopefully it doesn't rain tonight, which it shouldn't. It's not supposed to. But it already had holes, so I don't think uh, a little rain tonight's gonna matter, even if it does. But I'm repairing this spot. <laughs> it uh, has quite a bit of nasty on it. <clears throat> I've already patched to some of them. What a ugly roof. But it'll last for 10 years until I can get a real slate roof on it. And it'll look good in between. Well, Frank is back up in Bertha working on the valley over here by the kitchen. In the meantime, all the branches that we have cut down or gathered, we have a burn barrel going. Who knew that magnolia trees burn so good? So anyway, Frank is back up here and Bertha is doing a number on the yard, but you know, that's fixable. One of the things that I find very beautiful about this yard, and I know people call it a weed, those are just violets and I love them and the fact that Bertha missed this one plant and didn't destroy it, it's just really pretty. He's up there. We've got the man basket positioned. He's strapped in everybody, so relax. But he's up there repairing that valley. So you touch one and it falls apart. So this is a good section of, um, where do you stop? So it's looking good. It's supported. So the house isn't gonna know what to do. And that's one less, one less leak we have to worry about. Well, it's not perfect, but uh, it won't leak anymore. It might not leak any less, but it won't leak anymore. <laughs> Oldest joke in the world. So, it ain't pretty. There's still some spots. That spot right there. It was just too much to work on, so I left it. But it will, it'll be all right. 
I checked it. It shouldn't, uh, it won't leak. If it does, it'll just be a drip. We've got plenty of drips in this house. We got a drip working on it. And this, who knows? That's a, that's one of my old patch jobs. When I was just hurrying, trying to get everything done. And uh, I didn't cut that slate very good, but I didn't want to take all the slates off around it to figure out what it was going, what was going on. And that spot uh, won't drip too bad. But the worst part about all this is these box gutters. Well, I guess what used to be box gutters. They don't gutter much anymore. All the wood underneath them rotted out. So, this is the kitchen porch. I guess uh, option three, and it's done for now. It's temporarily supported, and it's got a temporary roof on it. So, I'm pleased that it won't leak anymore for a while. Well, while Frank was up in the man basket, personnel, basket. personnel he's Work in platform. whatever. Uh, I uh, got a scraper and a rake and a shovel, and I cleaned off these back steps. And it was all overgrown. And I'll try to find a before picture. I just didn't get it before I didn't get it before when I was just messing around and lo and behold Frank brought the chainsaw over and there were trees growing so you can see right there these are just some flagstones but pretty now that you can actually see them <laughs> maybe I won't trip every time I come in this way now alrighty Did Alice get you a new toy? Do you like the new toy? <laughs> She's a silly girl. <laughs> 